EQ, or equalization, is the term we use when we want to approach the different frequencies that are found within audio. These frequencies range from the lowest we can hear, around 20 Hz, up to the highest, 20 kHz. There are lower and higher frequencies above and below this human range, and whilst it might seem pointless to pay attention to things we can't hear, you'll find it's something we actually need to do. I'll explain more later on. So, 20 Hz, or 20 complete cycles of a whole waveform per second, is the lowest bass frequency we can hear. Then we go up into faster and faster cycles, with the pitch raising accordingly, until we reach 20 kHz, or 20,000 complete waveform cycles per second. And this is the highest pitch, or frequency, we can hear. Here we can see and hear a waveform starting at a low frequency and getting increasingly higher. Note that the pitch rises the higher the frequency. As we get older, our ability to discern the higher frequencies starts to drop off. This is natural, but it's worth noting that the most common reason for this is damage caused by excessive levels of sound over long periods of time. If you drive a motorbike, use earplugs. If you listen to an iPod, try to listen at a reasonable level. And when you're mixing, if you have to shout to be heard, then it's too loud. So, back to the business of EQ itself. When we're blending sounds together to make a good mix, we're not just increasing or decreasing volume levels. We want to boost or cut certain frequencies that are causing problems when too many sounds are jostling for the same frequency position. We've all used EQ in everyday life. Even the most basic device these days features different settings for different types of sound and music, with the most common of these being the bass boost. Some systems allow you to finely tune the different frequencies across the spectrum to get exactly the sound you want.